So in this video I'm going to show you how to go ahead and post pictures to the website. It's a pretty simple process. Go ahead and log in. And you can see our bar right here. We're going to go ahead and create article. And of course we're going to enter in a title. scroll here. We're going to go Simple Image Gallery Pro. Create a new gallery. The folder does not exist anywhere on the server and what this basically means is if somebody else labeled their gallery it would say that that folder already exists. Now you won't be able to see other people's folders, just your own. Um, so go ahead and you can hit proceed. You can see the new gallery has been created. We're going to go ahead and add some images real, real quick. So click on add image. And we get a little box there. We'll go ahead and click on add files. So you can see we have our image just pulled up. I'm going to go 2012 Legislative Seminar and look for day two. Now there's a ton of images in here. We're going to hit Control A, select them all, click on Open, and you can see that they all pulled in here. Now something to kind of keep in mind is that the max upload size is 32 megs. And right now you can see 47 megs. So what we can do is um, go ahead and add what we want or we can basically kind of delete them off until we get to a point of the 32 megs. So in this instance I'll go drop down here. I'm at 31 megs. I can see the last one is the 212. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start upload. Um, now after you get done uploading a set, you can create another set. So that's, kind of, that's something to keep in mind. And what I mean by another set is that you could um, save and then upload more. So I'll show you that process when you go ahead and wait for this to go through. And you can see, if you scroll the top, the images are checked. There's a status going on here. It's updating. You can see at the bottom I'm 36% of the way done. The pictures are uploading pretty well. Um, it's a pretty nice process. So let's go ahead and wait here for a second. Now, if for some reason you can't see some of these folders, um, you might want to try another browser. Um, everything should be good, but just in case. So if you're using like Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, or Mozilla Firefox, and say it's not working on one of them, just try another browser, see if it works. Um, there's sometimes with the older browsers where some of the functionality won't quite play the way that you want it to. So just kind of keep that in mind. So we're almost done here, and we can see that they're all uploaded. We can hit close. Now, you can go ahead and give it a title and a description, each image. Or if you see something that, for instance, there's two of them, you can go ahead and delete the image. Or, so for instance, this isn't a really good image because it's dark, it's kind of hard to see. So we can go ahead and delete that. So ask if you want to permanently delete. Yep and then it delete the file. So I can scroll through here to see if there's anything else. Now in this view you can see like it's kind of cropped off. It won't be like that once you get it finished. It's just a case of um, when it's pulling in in this system. 
it has a fixed height and width. Once you get to the front end, it will be completely different. So right now what we're going to do is just hit save and close. And then when you get done with that, scroll back over the image gallery that you just created and then click insert. And you'll see a great big line of code here. You want that line of code. That's exactly what we're looking for. So just go ahead and leave that. You don't have to put any more content in here. There's something that I'll do once I see that you've posted something to make it work in the front end, um, but don't do anything else here. Go down to category, and then go down to photos, and all the information is in there. Now you can add some meta description or keywords. So for instance, I might add 2012 legislative seminar the only reason I'm adding that is so that it's easier for Google to find so not really a big deal you can add it if you want otherwise I can always add it later and then you scroll back to the top and then you click on save And that's the extent of what you're going to have to do on your end. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make the tweaks that I would make as it gets sent to me. Um, what happens is this goes in an email to me and then it's queued, um, which means it's not published until I actually officially publish it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put those little things together quick, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So you can see now that um, I've gone ahead and added a cover photo in essentially and the articles in place we go ahead and click on the article and you can see all the images now if you put um, a description in here or a title remember we talked about um, adding the title and description as you're importing the images that's what would show up here and then so we click on this and we can see these different images populate and you've got a nice slideshow where you can kind of look at everything. And that's basically how we go ahead and insert photo gallery to the process. Thank you very much.